hey what's up guys so in the last episode we were able to create a very simple node.js application and in this episode i want us to create an array of fake products so that we can uh, be able to send those products to our front end so at our back end here i'll simply add a new file called products.js i hit enter and then in here, I'll create a constant called products and I'll set it to be equal to an array. And right here, I'll have an array of objects. So the first object will be our first product. We'll have an ID. I'll give this an ID of one. And then we'll have the name of the product. Let's have iPhone. Uh, 12 pro and I wrap this with uh, the quotes here because it's a string let's have a description and I'll say uh, 6.1 inch display and then I'll have a price And for the price, uh, we can say 999. So this is just a dummy product, not like a, a real thing, just a dummy product to work with. And then right here, we'll have an image, okay? And I'll show you how we will add an image later on. But for now, let's just duplicate this two more times. I'll just have three products to work with. So I'll include commas there. This will have an ID of two. This can be just uh, the iPhone 12. This can have a display of 5.4. And the price can be 699. And we'll add an image later on. And then an ID is three. Name, uh, let's have uh, galaxy s and then the display let this be 6.5 inch display and the price 399 and then the image will add it later on and then at the bottom here we can export our array of fake products so i can say module dot exports and I set this to be equal to products. And now we can import these products in our index.js file. So if you want to learn more about uh, module exports, uh, check out my Manstack tutorial here on YouTube. And I'll leave a link at the description section below. So right here, we can just say const products will be equal to require and then I'll say products and then right here instead of returning an array of numbers I'll say rest.send products I save that file and now when I come to the browser and refresh you can see now it's giving us an array of our fake products but we need to like include the image and for the image uh i have this repository right here on my github so if you want to use the same image uh, as the one that i'm using i'll leave a link to this particular directory or repository at the description section below and then you can download these files so you can click on a file like this and then you can download from this button okay and once you download the three files uh you'll need now to import them or upload them on what we call cloudinally so cloudinally is a very awesome platform for working with images and also video files okay so it is cloudinally.com i'll also leave a link to cloudinally.com at the description section below and what you need to do 
is to create an account so you need to sign up you'll have uh, a button on the side here and then once you sign up you'll definitely uh, need to sign in when you, you sign in you'll be redirected to the dashboard okay and at the dashboard you'll be able to see the account details the cloud name your api key your api secret your api environment variable and more right here now in this particular video we won't uh, be exploring cloudinary uh, in depth we'll just uh, upload the files here and then we will use them on our node.js and that will be it but there is more into cloudinary than what we will do in this particular video so when you scroll at the side here you'll be able to see quick links to various documentations you can work with react node.js and all these uh, other languages here now let's uh, click react here and see an example so this will give you a documentation of how you can use react with cloudinary and you you will have a uh, an explanation of how you can set up react we have an example of using cloudinary you can see how you can transform images and then right here we have how you can upload images and videos transform them and more so if i come to uh, react image and video upload you can see we have a widget where you can drag and drop images on your react apps and more so this is worth checking out if you want to like uh, work really well with images and videos in your react application or even other languages if you want to serve this from a backend we have backend sdks here we have node.js here so you can check out this documentation and learn more about cloudinary and maybe in future i can come up with a complete tutorial on how to use cloudinary in react and also how to use it in node.js but for now I just want us to like upload our three images on cloudinary and then we get links to those images so that we can use them in our fake uh, array of products so at media library this is where you'll have all your media you can like create a new folder using this button so right here you can say online shop and then you save and then you can open that particular folder and you can drag and drop the three images right here okay so i won't do it because i already have a folder with those images so i'll just come back uh, to media library and my online shop here already have the three images now once you upload what you need to do is to copy the link so i'll copy the url for iphone 12 here so i'll copy that link and then from our array of fake products iphone 12 here i'll paste that link right there okay and then i'll come back copy for galaxy s paste it here and then i'll come here copy for uh, iphone 12 pro and paste it at our iphone 12 pro so this is uh just a simple dummy product will have access to this url from our front end now and be able to load these images but remember this is just a dummy uh back end right here for us to be able to use asynchronous actions in redux toolkit so when creating a complete backend using cloudinary you'll need to check out this documentation so that you can create awesome apis for your images and also videos now with this we'll be able to access our api from the front end and we'll be able to continue from there so in the next episode we'll see how we can set up redux toolkit in our application